Hello children. Welcome to online learning from RPS. I hope you all are doing well. Children, today we are going to start a very interesting topic of physics that is light. In this video, we will see what is light, what are characteristics of light and what are its sources that is luminous and non-luminous objects. So children, when we talk about light, what is light? What is that first thing that strikes your mind when we think of light? Children, light is an invisible energy which causes sensation of vision in us. Light always travels in a straight line. Children, it is the fastest traveling energy and travels with the speed of 3 lakh kilometer per second. And no object can travel at such high speed. Okay, let us understand the concept of light more clearly. Children, first and foremost thing we need to know is that everything that we see around us is because of light reflected from those objects. There may be many things around you. A pencil, a paper, door and a lamp. Everything is seen because of light reflected from it. Okay, here we have a room with lights on. And we can see all the things in this room. This bed, window, toys, everything. And when we switch off the light, it's dark now. You can't see anything in the room because no light is falling on the objects. Here is a park and we can see different plants, trees, flowers, grass because light from the sun is falling on these things. Now it's night time. Can you see any plants, trees or flowers? No, not clearly. As no light from the sun is there. But children, we can see the shapes of plants and trees because still there is some light falling on them from the moon. Which is not enough to see everything clearly. So, you are able to see anything because it is reflecting the light falling on it. We can see this flower because the light from the sun is falling on it and light is always reflected of the thing on which it falls and my dear children that reflected light from those objects makes us see that object here is an apple you can see it because of the light falling on it is getting reflected back into your eyes now let us see what are luminous and non-luminous objects. Children, objects that give out light on their own are known as luminous objects. Let us see some examples like sun, stars, fire. They glow and give out light on their own so they are luminous objects. Okay, now let us see some examples of living luminous objects. Children, fireflies, jellyfish, fleshy fungus, radiant railroad worm, glowing millipede, these all are natural luminous objects. They glow and emit light on their own. Children, we see luminous objects because light emitted by them enter our eyes directly and we see. Okay, we can see this bulb because the light emitted by it is directly entering our eyes. Okay, now let us see non-luminous objects. Children, the objects that do not give out light on their own are known as non-luminous objects. Like this glass does not emit and give out light on their own. But... It is reflecting the light falling on it because of which 
we can see it so it is a non luminous objects we can see these objects are emitting light on their own so they are luminous objects and these objects are not emitting any light on their own so they are non luminous objects children we are able to see them because they are reflecting the light falling on them from other luminous source now tell me the moon is a luminous or non luminous object most of you will say moon is a luminous object but no no my dear children moon is a non luminous object moon does not have light of its own it reflects the light of sun falling on it because of which we can see it at night so kids we have learned how do we see different objects what are luminous and non luminous objects and yes we have learned that all non luminous objects emit the light falling on them but not all the objects reflect the light in a similar way the smoother the surface the more the light it will reflect that's all thank you kids